Go get your brushes, go get your paint And this is how you do it, the show she away I'm gonna teach you, be ready to learn Cause when I'm done, it's your turn Take your time, study in You can do it right, show she can Enter my world, watch what grows And when I'm through, oh, why not have it go? Take your time, study in. You can do it by show she can. And tomorrow, watch what grows. And when I'm through, oh, why not have it go? A week, pain, miniatures. We pain, miniatures. We pain. Turn on tuning in, hear all the say, but watch it real closely, enjoy your stay. And you'll see me painting from up above. And if you like it, give me a love. Take your time, study in. You can do it by show she can. And tomorrow, watch what grows. And when I'm through. Take your time, study in. You can do it by show she can. And tomorrow, watch what grows. And when I'm through, oh, why not have it go? We paint miniatures. 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 So, I've got a model I'm going to be painting, sponsored by Broken Anvil Games. We're doing, they're doing this whole Kickstarter thing for Riven, Rivenstone is what it's called. How's everybody doing? Yeah, Rivenstone hype, Rivenstone hype. Um, yeah, I'm on Twitch again for just this time. I might do future sponsored streams. I am currently over on my Patreon. If you, if you miss me and you still want to support me, you do get to see me stream once a month on YouTube through my Patreon. Although, actually, I think Patreon itself is switching over so I can I can stream directly through Patreon, which is even better. Yeah, how's everybody doing? 
I've been making miniatures. I don't know if anybody's been paying attention. I don't know who sees me. <laughs> so, how's everybody been? What have you guys been doing for a year? Recovering, getting back to work. How's everybody? Okay, let's get some, let me show you. Let me switch, switch cameras real quick so we can see what we're, oh, not that one. Overhead, there we go, boom. And I'm going to pull this down just a smidge. This is what we're talking about right here. Let me know if you need. It feels a little fuzzy, the light. Maybe I can crisp that up. Yeah. Maybe if. Yeah, let me see if I can sharpen that because it does look a little blurry. I'm going to see. Cam control. I got a new standing desk thingy so it lifts up my desk a lot and I so you'll be able to see stuff closer up here we go all right let's see if we can sharpen this for you all because I think we need some contrast Ooh. I think oh and that's the other thing um, YouTube has been a lot higher quality. Ooh, there we go. Sharp. Is that too sharp? Okay, that's that's better. Yay! Thank you, Batalur. He's posting the Kickstarter link. If anybody wants to go check that out. What happens if I mess with the gain a little bit? No, we don't want to mess. Yeah, we can mess with the gain a little bit. All right, that looks good. I think it's nice and. Oh, there we go. Yes, 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 yes. Nice and crisp. Good. Okay, I'm going to apply that. And close that. Oh my goodness, chat just went crazy. Hello, Phoenix Rose. It is a Shoshi. Hoya. <laughs> You're in so many ads. Yes, you are, Josh. Hello, Josh. I miss you. All right. Josh, by the way, go follow him. Um, go follow him because he's actually on Twitch now and then. He's a, he's a really awesome, amazing guy and painter. So, all right, I'm going to get my printer has um, a paper. Back run ads. Shows you back run ads. <laughs> yes. Um, hey, Bella Fleur, how are you? Okay, I'm going to run and go get my. Um, wow, I love it that you've got a laughing face, Josh, emoji. That's amazing. Wish Lots of wishing for the soul paint jobs have been so beautiful. That is absolutely true. Facts. Facts. Okay, I'm going to go get, I'm going to go get my stuff off the printer so we can look at how this Oryx is getting painted. I'll be right back. really looks good today because I finally got some new toner okay this is the oryx faction look at that snazzy this is the this is the gal we're painting today right here one of the things I like about um, Rubenstone is there are plenty of female these are all the male and I think these two are female right here these two are male but they look awesome they have orangish skin let me pick out a palette here we're gonna go with some burnt sienna I'm back I'm back we're gonna go with burnt sienna for our base for that I think we might even use some was that burnt sienna burnt orange I apologize that's my burnt sienna and we will also be using burnt orange chief hunter says I've heard of you before Shoshi but I've never seen your work Follow me on Instagram. I'm on it. I'm on. T I'm on TikTok a lot right now. TikTok is where I'm going. I went. I also have. Um, so all of my social media: Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Patreon, YouTube are at Shoshi's Minis. It's the same, same screen name as here. So a good way to see my work, especially, is uh, in probably Instagram. Is probably the best way to see my work. But you'll get to see me stream today. 
And I'm going to start with some burnt sienna from Monument Hobbies. We are also sponsored by Monument Hobbies. In addition, and I'll, okay, I'm just going to also explain. If you haven't seen me paint on, on stream before, I like to explain what I'm doing while I'm doing it. So you really actually learn. I'm just, not just going to jibber jabber and, uh, you know, do my own thing. I actually show you what I'm doing. So the first thing I'm starting with is I'm going to paint the skin first because it's the most inner inner layer of the model it's the everything else is going to get painted um, after the fact which means when I need to clean up things it makes it so much easier to make a nice clean clean crisp model one of the things I've always said yay, yay by the way, don't subscribe to me today because I'm not going to be back for, I'm, I'm not really doing the Twitch thing right now except sponsored streams, Yay! but you can definitely follow because if, if somebody does sponsor me to paint on Twitch, I will, like, like Broken Anthem. So this is how we're starting with with the skin, and like all of her, all of her skin is gonna get this late base coat of just a thin base coat of this this dark color. We don't need a second coat, and the reason why is because we're gonna be layering up anyway. I feel, it sounds like my husband is moving furniture upstairs. By the way. If you want me to see your chat, go ahead and highlight it so that way I'll definitely see it. Just like uh, Sturmcrow here. Hey Sturmcrow, for some reason you thought you were going to be on Broken Anvil Mini Stream. I follow you on Instagram, but first time seeing you on Twitch. Yep, probably uh, the last in a while. I stream on YouTube now through my Patreon, but I do that like once a month. And I'm on TikTok quite a bit. If, I know that not a lot of people are on TikTok. But uh, I really love it there, and there is live streaming on TikTok as well. It's not as easy to live stream, of course, but I like it. I like TikTok. So, for those of you who don't know, I went off and I made my own line of models, and we released the first one in January, and everything was shipped out. Probably in the last month or so, maybe April. I think April was when we shipped everything out. We did it all pre-order. I should be talking about um, Rivenstone as well. Let's talk about Rivenstone. This is a brand new game. Um, and I've been told that it is similar to Warcry and... What was the other one that's similar to? Pro, uh, pro, Marble, Marble Crisis Protocol is what somebody told me. That was it. Here we go. Hey, Rumble! So good to see you. The designs on these models are very good. Yeah, very video game inspired, isn't it? It's kind of nice because it makes them real colorful and fun. I'm getting in all these little crevices where I think she's got some kind of shirt over oh that's the other part of her outfit I get it so this is what's nice about this layer is that if you mess up on this layer you're gonna end up covering it later anyway all right I'm trying to get as much of this done by 12 as possible so you can see the whole thing. I'm gonna have to switch brushes as well. Okay. Got our nice base coat layer. We can go ahead and cover those tusks as well. I'm gonna switch brushes. This brush is synthetic. It doesn't have the spring I needed to have. Here's a nice brush. This is a monument. 
one of my hobbies. Um, bomb with igniter. Yeah. Oh, that one's bent. I need a different brush. Let's see what else I've got. What got me interested in painting the BAM? The BAM? B-A-M? What got me? Somebody tell me what BAM means. I feel like I'm behind. I like Hunger Hungerford as well. I've known him for a very long time. Because I was a big privateer press girl. Oh, broken out. Bro broke. What got me interested was um, I was approached by uh, Josh Davis Minis and he is very involved with them and he said hey you want to do a sponsored stream and I was like I always want to do sponsored streams and so that's how it all got set up and uh here we are all right I'm just checking because I know there's going to be yep I found an elbow I have, my husband is like banging on the furniture or some, something fierce upstairs. Oh, also I need to tell you guys, I do not have a bot currently. It's been so long since I streamed that my phantom bot upgraded so much that it's no longer like, I can't really work with it anymore. So... If you do any of my old commands, they may not work. They may be broken. I like this. I like this a lot. Hey, Bat. Oh, Carlos Garcia. Oh my gosh, I haven't seen you forever. Hello. So, now we're going to go with the burnt orange. And we're going to just do highlights on the spots that are going to be lighter. By the way, this is a monument igniter as well. This one's a Kalinsky monument. There we go. And I'm just hitting the highlights of this so that we get a brighter color. I'm going to go all the way up to orange because their skin is orange. happens if we go straight to orange. Now, orange is a pretty pain in the tuchus color to paint because it's very transparent. But this, I think the monument paints are pretty nice. Let's see what happens. Oh, see, there we go. Perfect. Yep, that's going to look really nice. Wow, we have 30 viewers. So awesome to have you all here. We appreciate it. How, I, I'm just curious, what do you think has changed the most with Twitch since I've been offline, off Twitch? For the viewer anyway, at least, because that's how you guys mostly experience Twitch. Do they still run tons of ads? If you're not subscribed. I think my husband is fixing the couch. I'm hoping you can't hear that. It's super distracting for me. like these paints because they really do blend nicely. They're nice and vivid, a lot like the P3 paints. There's so many painting streamers now. Yeah, that's a big reason why I decided to go ahead and go. It was really hard to keep up with everybody. Everyone and their mom joined Twitch. Um, 
and I felt like the old guard was not how do I put this the old guard was not a not as interesting and exciting anymore oops oh no So there's this book I used to read called um, Who Moved My Cheese? And it's basically like this little parable about these two mice that run around looking like they, they're looking for cheese and the rules are that the cheese will always eventually run out and if you don't start looking for new cheese you will probably starve. And so I started realizing I needed to look for the new cheese. You know what, I have to say that making my own models has made such a huge difference. Um, talk about your making your, that's making your own cheese, right? Like, completely different. There we go, she's so pretty, I like that orange, that looks really good. Let's see how that looks on cam. Oh yeah, nice and bright. You know what else there is besides lots of painting streamers? There are also lots of new painters. I feel like a lot of people in general joined the hobby during COVID and I'm really hoping that that is not going to change. That is a really good thing. A lot of people have been getting into 3D printing as well. Which is another aspect of our hobby. I wouldn't be surprised if there were 3D printer streamers now as well. Alright, I'm gonna just put just a smidge of super glue on this so that it does not fall off again. Let's just put it on the pin and so that way. Alright, where's my paper? Let's look at her outfit. So, she has a dark reddish orange uh, cloth, and that would be the next thing we want to paint. You had really bad car carpal tunnel syndrome. What type of folder? Oh, let me show you. So, I, I think I got this folder from Game Envy, but. Um, pkpro.de has these really great folders that are from where are they from? Ugh. Rathcore. Rathcore.de is but pkpro.de is where uh, you can get these and these are even better because um, let me show you there's a little um that. Hang on. They have these. Check this out. See, I've got multiple holders. So they have these bars here. This is like, so you, what you can do is you can rest your hand on it and, um, and paint. It'll, it makes you really much steadier if you have any kind of shakes or anything like that. These are excellent. And they've got different sizes as well. But thank you. <laughs> yeah. And this this is a nice holder. What I liked about it is that it's got the pin already on it. And I could just stick it on here and help me keep her steady. Let's pick out... I think I want to use this as a burgundy. Do I want to use burgundy or do I want... I know I want to go reddish. More reddish. Let's go with this dark flesh. It's a really red brown. And that can be our, our start, start color. Oh yeah, that's pretty. Look at this color. That is a pretty color. It'll go real well with these others over here too. And I'm going to put some red. 
Oh. And what else? Maybe a little burgundy. I like this burgundy. It's a little more pink. Oh yeah. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Yeah, it's a lot more pink. Let's mix some of this red with some of this so it's not quite so brown. There we go. I'm gonna add a little tiny bit of burgundy. Ooh, there we go. Yes. Woo! Wicked Smart Dragon! What kind of lids do I have on my pro quills? I got these little, um, I got them separate. They're the little, um, pointed droppers. And then on my transparent paints, I've got the flip tops. Where's the flip tops here? This is what I've got. On. This is actually just more to help me tell the difference between my transparents and my my regular ones. Alright, painting the claw. Oh, that's a beautiful red that I just mixed. And again, it's not imperative that you're super, super clean as long as you clean up as you go. Hey, Ferg. And what kind of, yeah. How are you, Ferg? I'm glad that you are here. Who knows? I, I'm not making any promises, but maybe I will think about streaming on Twitch once in a while as a treat. <laughs> but just um, from a business perspective, Twitch was just not lucrative for me anymore. And so sponsored streams, I can still do sponsored streams for sure. But as a, just a subscription model, it just wasn't working. There were too many other streamers online to compete with. And uh, not bringing in commissions, to be honest. There we go. Oh, I just, I just put my finger right on top of the wet paint. There, I like this color. You know, it's interesting that I did not really even realize that Will Hungerford was involved with Riven, um, Riven Stone until after he tweeted about it yesterday. That's how out of the loop I am with this game. Kingdom Death is still one of my favorite tabletop games to play. I did get into, um, I did get into Warhammer. Surprise, surprise. I have some Eldar and I've been slowly painting my way through my Eldar army and I'm hoping that there's a new store that's going to open up here in town where somebody will teach me how to play because that's that's the biggest obstacle to me playing Warhammer is that I don't know how to play how are the geckos oh we should show the geckos shouldn't we Benjamin says I just got done fighting with my clothes washer because apparently two blankets and a couple towels have a difficult time. <laughs> yes, I have had that problem many times. It's funny. Usually those big heavy ones, um, even if you put one in by itself, sometimes you'll, it'll still give you problems. They're finicky because they're big and soak up a lot of water. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and make this red on her straps back here. The, so when I read or found out about these Oryx models, is they're, they got warped by these Riven Stones. Their bodies changed. And so they the way they play in the game is different. And they actually... Their goal is to kind of destroy these riven stones all over the place and smash them.
which that sounds pretty cool and fun. It's probably more like a keep away kind of situation with the other factions where you're not trying to destroy the, well, I guess you could, there, the other factions trying to get the Riven Stones, you're trying to destroy them. That could be, that could be a lot of fun. Volume up, oh, there we go. Make sure my mic is by my mouth. Is that better? Geckos, please show the geckos. All right, I want to see some hype. If you guys want to see the geckos, I need to see some hype in the channel. Like lots of emotes and, and chit-chat. <laughs> make, it, make it worth getting up to get the geckos out of their sleeping. Hype. Oh, we don't have a bot. You're just going to have to type your own emotes. <laughs> we'll make you really work for it. <laughs> there you go. There you go. <laughs> oh, we used, we redeemed. We've redeemed the, the points to get out of Gecko. Okay. <laughs> nice. So we, let's go ahead and do it. I'll get I'll go get out the geckos. It's been a, it's been a year since you've seen them. They they look about the same. Hold on a second. One minute here. Let's see who's in. Well, Peppercorn as usual is in her little log thing. There's Peppercorn's tail. <laughs> Can I get her to step out a little bit, maybe? She really wants to stay. Come here, you. There she is. There's Peppercorn. Hold on, let me um, put the face cam on so you'll be able to really see her. Remember that time she freaked out and like jumped all over me? It was like right about when she was gonna shed. There we go. There's Peppercorn. Why she don't want to look at anybody? She never wants to look at anybody. There's baby. Blip. All right, I'm gonna put her back. I'll get Ginger out. Get my mic untangled from my chair. Yes. Do I still have emotes? I'm pretty sure I do. Some of you guys don't have my emotes anymore. Don't subscribe, go. Don't subscribe just to get the emotes though, because I will not be back enough to make it worth it. All right, here's Biscuit. Biscuit's gonna blink a lot because it's bright. There's a biscuit. Yeah, see, she doesn't like the light. Biscuit. Let me see if I can make show her on cam. There we go. She has a little shed on her toes. I need to get that off. She just shed yesterday. One more biscuit. <laughs> All right, I put him back. It is spring and they're just starting to get more active now, so it's a good time to to see them. Yay! There we go. They got somebody's got some gecko emotes. Okay, I need to look at her. So we need to see this where I got paint all over her outfit there. I've got actually paint everywhere. Hmm. I'm gonna grab this bright ivory and I'm gonna clean up some of the areas where I got paint blurped everywhere especially on this little skull dude I'm 
because I can add some wash later on. There we go. And the tusks, we'll, sh we'll make the tusks nice and ivory. And for her hair, she's going to have black hair with blue, probably some blue highlights. Did anybody here end up backing that kick, back, backing the Rivenstone Kickstarter yet? I'm really curious. Um, obviously, I can't get into any more games, especially when I'm into Warhammer right now, because Warhammer and Kingdom Death are a money pit together and a painting pit too because I have so much of both of them to paint now so um, for those of you guys who don't know my next model is coming out soon it's going to be a merman fisherman and what's really cool about him is Mocha's Minis is going to be doing my box art. If she's still on, I don't know if you guys still watch her. Alright, so let me take a look at this artwork again. Looks like maybe gray. Yeah, gray is going to be the leather color. Interesting choice. We'll go with a blue-gray because that'll be really pretty. We've got blue-black. Yeah, let's do blue-black right here for Monument. It'll be a nice contrast to the orange. Mm, yes. See the palette? I know, I think she's in school. I think she's finishing up school. So she said she would try to get it, you know, depends on what her schedule is. I'm really hoping she, you know, and I can always be her backup if she can't paint it. Right? That's the bonus of being my being my own artist. I'd prefer to um, lift up other women painters though, especially since this model range is designed for women and um, designed by women as well. And sculpted. Hello, all right, backside. You are here. <laughs> Welcome. It's all right. Normally, I try to like when I stream on my YouTube channel on for my patrons, Patreon patrons, I will um, usually stream from. 2 p.m. Central until um, 2 p.m. until 4 p.m. and this it's usually usually on the weekends too. That way, more all my American people are home from work. Oh yeah, that looks really nice. I do like that. All right, let me look at this paper one more time. Hmm. I'm just discerning the different colors that are on this model. Let's see. There's some regular gray colors, which I will use this warm dark gray, dark warm gray. Okay, yeah, that's good. I probably should have shaken that a little bit more. You did see you're busy with garden work. That's all right. Ooh, that, yeah, there we go. Mix this gray is different than this blue right here. Oh, yeah, that's a really nice gray. So, by the way, guys, if you want to see more Riven, uh, Riven, um, stone, 
models painted today. Zambies is going to be painting in at 2 p.m. Central Time, I believe. No. Sorry, she's not painting at 2. She's painting at 4. But anyway, the schedule is up on my Instagram. You can see it there. I'm going to go ahead and paint this axe completely gray. It's one of those things you can't tell if it's stone or if it's metal, but we'll get it we'll get it to the right color once we finish this. Okay, and her shoulder pad is also going to be this metal gray color. Which I'll probably end up putting some Nuln oil on, oh, and her arm pad as well. Hello, Chaos Angel, how are you? What's been going on? We are doing a sponsored stream today, which is why I'm back on Twitch for the sponsoredness. So yes, I am being paid to paint, which is a lovely thing. And if you are watching this and you have a miniature company and that you would like to pay me to paint for my audience on Twitch, I am also happy to do so and you can contact me. <laughs> cat stretch. Yes, should we do? Is it too early to do the cat stretch? We could do it anytime. Can't believe I missed your pre-order. You're kicking yourself wicked smart. I don't know if you're in the U.S., but if you are in the U.S., um, I can, and actually Australia as well. Um, I have a few. I have a few models left, like 13 models or so left on my website, and because I, ha in order to make a $200 minimum to get a price break, I went ahead and I went ahead and got the extra models that it took guys the pre-order was great the pre-order we we um we had about 160 models sold so um but so that means we have a few extra and so if you still want it there it's there's a very limited time where you will still be able to get it because once those are gone they are gone and um they will be available again when I do, I'll re-release the whole miniature set as a collection. So if you want to, if, if you're not from, if you're not from the U.S. and you want to go ahead and wait for the collection to come out, that's probably the best way to go. You'll get the best shipping deal and everything that way as well. And I, get, I guess that goes for the U.S. people as well. If you, if you think you're going to buy all of them, then get, just wait for the collector set. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and paint this thing, because this thing is also metal. I, I started my own miniature line, Chief Hunter. They are marketed to women. They are for men and women and people who like men. The, the first series is focusing on the, here I'll just show you the first model I've got it right here this is my first model he's called wishing for your wishing for a soul and the themes are male beauty and male emotion because we don't really get to see that people aren't really making models that focus on the softer side of men and you know what there's plenty of us out there that would love to have a model like this um, so yeah, and um, 
so that's a big deal I, I will you know what I think I might show you guys if I can see a little hype you might wait for the collector set you want all the hunky dudes that's a good idea <laughs> yeah non-toxic masculinity bee cake not maybe not so much bee cake but like sensual attractive men I want to show you I'm gonna show you a sneak peek at my next model that's coming out and I'm just gonna show it to you real quick okay this is my the next model he's this is a prototype so this is not how he's gonna look like in the end I've got to we got to fix a few things um, he, a few things are gonna be a little different but he's a male merman fisherman and look at this he's expressing joy this is something that you don't get to see male minis unless they're chubby or a dwarves Japanese metal okay hold on a second I'll pay, play the Japanese metal <laughs> so that his, his emotion is joy of catching a fish here we go and then I've got yeah the water splash the big water splash behind him we're gonna keep this splash right here is gonna go away that one we're gonna get rid of but this is nice and I get I keep getting paint on my paint mat and the gecko's got dirt on my paint mat um so yeah we're gonna make him the right size he's not the right size because um, he's gonna be the same size as the angel love it yeah, I feel like it's a it's a hole in the market that nobody has wanted to try. Well, you know, they've tried but failed to really capture. There has, I mean, you know what? I was just like really frustrated because for years and years I've been asking for this kind of thing. Nobody really wanted to make them. And also um, when people did try to make them, there's just something missing. And it was what was missing was the female gaze um, and so the miniatures are sculpted by women the concept art is done by a woman and so you really you really get the, the real female gaze with these and I think we'll get to see a different kind of uh, viewpoint of the fantasy man that we haven't seen before because there's not that many female illustrators and sculptors in minis at all. What do you know how many minis will be in the collector set? Six, maybe a bonus seven. I'm not sure yet, but pr definitely six is my plan. And the first mini was $60 USD. And so you can kind of tally in your head what you think that's going to be. All right, I'm going to grab hmm, the black. I'm going to do the black for her hair. And then we'll highlight it with some blues. Is there an ETA for the collector set? I don't know. We, uh, yeah, I don't have an ETA yet because we don't have ETAs for... Yeah, exactly, Teviston. All, not, most of yeah, most of the male minis are still a male fantasy. Yep. <laughs> yeah, I don't know about that, Alright Backside. Um, I don't want to quote that because... It could end up being a little bit more or less depending on the price of resin at the time and who knows what right because everything is going up shipping is going up so it could be a little more it could be a little less we don't know yet it will be um, worth it though I will make it worth it whatever you get in that collector set it will 100% be worth it okay I'm painting your hair black so so the merman is my second model the 
third model is um, a demon librarian. Because we never get to see men as intellectual seen as attractive or sensual. When we ever see, we see male intelligence, we see male intelligence depicted as old men. And as a nerd woman, I can tell you that it is a 100% fact that male intelligence is hot. Very hot. And it should be, it should be more, it should be shown more. I'm also going to be designed, like you saw with the merman, he's, he's Filipino. I talked to many Filipino friends about him. There we go. Oh, that is so nice. You know what? I'm going to save all my chitter chatter about my own models for another. I'll probably do, I'll sponsor my own stream or something. So that way I'm not taking time from, from Broken Anvil. But you guys can go to my website and read about it. And find out more about the project. Because I would love that. Just make sure to bookmark it for later to watch and look at. Alright. So we're getting all the colors blocked in for the base colors. Let's go ahead and paint, paint these. Let's add some more gear to this. Ooh these straps down here. Oh, and I put my finger on that again. Also, yeah, no, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna plug my own Patreon right now. I'll do it later. I'll do it right before I head out. So I'm getting all these colors blocked in. It's going to make it... One thing I'm noticing about this model is it does seem to... You, if you've got the contrast paints or the speed paints, this model will paint so fast. Because even just me hand brushing everything in a methodical way has been pretty quick. Okay, we did get a blurp again, so we gotta go back over that. Here, let's finish where I put my finger over that one. Oh wait, that's the wrong color. Ah, and I just dropped my brush. <laughs> Yeah, but first there's a broken anvil, anvil plug, exactly. <laughs> You're a dumbass. <laughs> you are not. <laughs> there we go. This is the blue. This is the blue color. All right, things are drying nice. Um, let's go ahead and start painting up the face a little bit. Let's give her the black black eye sockets to start. Good. I'm going to go ahead and dark line some things here so we can get nice. Now I'm using that darker brown color. I'm going to go ahead and shade down a little bit. I 
I can web blend in my lighter color and while that's still wet I can take my red my red red and wet blend that in so that looks really nice as well Okay, I'm grabbing my mid color so I can feather this a little bit. See what I did? Very pretty. Very fast too. Too off, too high. Oh, there we go. It's so funny, I'm used to moving myself the other way. All right, let's try the same thing. We're gonna put the main color down and then take our red on top where we want to highlight and just wet blend that in. Adding a little bit more. I got more gray to fix up. Here we go. That's better. All right, let me look at the paper again. Okay, so they have this kind of yellowish fur. I would say yellowish brown fur. I'm gonna go ahead and use I'm going to use this brown. This is a light umber. It's a pretty neutral brown. And then I will highlight it with my golden brown or my yellow ochre, depending on how that goes. Okay. Go ahead and paint this on. And I'm respecting the dark lining that I've already done in that spot. So what other kinds of things have you guys been doing? What sort of paints, what, what has people been painting mostly? Those of you who still are on Twitch and watch Twitch stuff. I want to hear about it. Is anybody getting into 3 print, 3D printing? Or any other new games that maybe I've not seen? I've been really, really um, impressed with what Ignis, Ign Ignis Arts has been doing lately. By the way, did you notice how I went around close to the edge first? I'm going around to the edge first and then I can paint fast on the rest so that it makes it look much cleaner and faster. called outside graphics are great but the gameplay sucks <laughs> I like outside I'm, I'm pretty good at outside actually that's one of the first things I did when I you know took my break from twitch is I would go birding a lot and I would go outside and spend time in nature it was really good for me, really good for mental health, especially after being cooped up for a couple years, right? For th with the pandemic. Has anybody been to any conventions yet? I am probably, well, I'm probably not going to go to conventions still this year, but probably next year. We'll see. Um, I'm still pretty focused on, on doing my thing with my models, but next year might be a good year to think about starting to go to the 
some of the some of the um, conventions again. All right, I'm flipping, I'm flipping her upside down because I want to get these. Under paintings. All right, that looks awesome. I like that color with that. You going to a rock and mineral show? I love those. I love those. What kinds of um, rocks and minerals do you like the best, Benjamin's Prime? I am a big fan of citron, and um, I also like all the quartz. All the quartz is actually. I They're inexpensive and they're pretty. They're pretty easy to find. Another interesting hobby that I picked up during the pandemic was embroidery. That was pretty relaxing. I didn't I didn't realize it was it's not as hard as it looks. And uh, I had a lot of fun making those. Grape agate. Oh, that sounds beautiful. I'm going to have to look that up. Is that particularly rare? Okay, so now here, see how I cover up the red mistakes that got onto that fur right there? I'm just being more careful. The more I'm adding. This, um, I like how cartoonish this model is. And it makes, the fact that it is cartoonish is fun. And it hel actually helps make the painting fun as well. Because you don't have to be so like exact and precise because and what I mean by that is that, like, with your colors, you can be kind of loud with your colors. Because it actually looks better when, when you are. And I like that they went with an orange skin orc rather than green, because greens are so overdone. I will have to go back and clean that up a little bit. Okay. Ooh. Benjamin says you can only source great great Abic from a small area of Indonesia. The area itself is in the Mamuju area of the western Sulawesi coast. Because of this, crystals quite rare and hard to come by. Oh, okay. That's interesting. Tanzanite was like that. Um, that was one of my favorite stones for a long time. And it's a nice gemstone for jewelry as well. All right. In fact, my wedding ring, my husband's birthstone is Tanzanite, and there's my citrine right next to it. Okay, these little leather strips that are holding her skirt together, I'm going to go ahead and paint brown. These little details really help start making it to pop out soon. Noise. Whenever you've got like a really textured area of fur like this, I recommend that you go ahead and just, I probably should do it myself, set your Kalinske sable brush aside and just go get an older craft brush because you do end up um, roughing up your nice brushes when you use them on these textured areas.
Okay. I really do appreciate everybody who's here. I did not expect as many people as he, that are here to be here. Um, because it's just been, it's been so long since I did Twitch. But I guess I did advertise it pretty well, so that probably helped make a difference. Let's see where I got her hair rubbed off. All right, more, more brown on these little strips. Did you guys all get to, a chance to see the Chadwick Boseman tribute bus that I did recently? I posted it on my Instagram and my other socials. It was really a nice piece. All right, that looks good. Um, okay. Um, I'm just thinking here for a second because I want to make sure I'm taking the next steps that I want to take. Let's do right here. Oh, I found another spot that needs brown. I'm thinking about how easy these would be, or not easy these would be, to be to batch paint them. I don't think they'd be too hard, because like I said, the cartoony-esque nature of them makes them pretty easy. Let's go ahead and paint this tusk, or whatever this is right here. Let's go ahead and paint all of the tooth looking things with this ivory and I will end up going over that with probably a wash as well yep there we go I think these particular models will look best with the non-metallic metal effect and I, I say effect because they don't have to be like spot on non-metallic metal like if they look cool then they look cool and that's all you need rule of cool right right Here's a question for you guys. If I came back to Twitch every, like maybe once a month, would you, would you tune in for a once a month stream? Like I wouldn't be able to do any kind of regularity or, you know, it would be a, it would probably be a scheduled thing once a month. Would you watch that? Or is it something that you guys mostly watch people who are on regularly? And so, like, it's in your routine. Yes, you would. Yes, you would. <laughs> well, that's a good sign, I guess, right? I know Batwood. I know that's awesome. You, you, you are very, very supportive all around. What I think I might do, if I did come back, would be um, specific projects. Like, I really think that I need to do um, maybe a, 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 there's a few skin, to, skin tone tutorials that need to be done. And I think Twitch is a good place to do them, where they get the most views. All right, did I get everything? I did not get all of these little parts here. 
So I'm going to show you this. This is the model that I did recently. Um, it's the Chadwick Boseman model, and I was thinking about doing a dark skin tone um, tutorial because I know I painted the Earth bust a long time ago, but um, for I didn't ever I didn't ever do a tutorial of it because I wanted to I actually was learning to do it and I couldn't teach it and show it until I had learned to do it myself. If that makes sense. Okay, that looks good. Let's go ahead and paint the belt over here. All right, I think we've got all our base colors down. This is really nice and simple. I'm just gonna grab some of this orange and mingle. So we're, so what I did with the, the bright orange is I went two steps up and now I'm coming down again over that. smoothing that in so we don't have the harsh lines it's looking good all right it's time to let's do another highlight of red on her cloak here her little or sorry her flowing cloth good we can add a little smidge of orange in there to brighten that even more yeah that looks really good I love that highlight I think I want to put that over here again too I'm going to look at this artwork again because I feel like the yellow, yeah, there needs to be some yellow. Okay. So the yellow I'm going to use is this Pro Curl Warm Yellow. It's one of their new colors. The only downside is it's a little bit transparent, so let's see what happens when I add it in small amounts to her skin here and see if it, let's add it to the orange. Maybe that will make a difference. That's not bad. Yeah, that's a, kind of a pop of color, isn't it? I like it. Let's do again on the top of her knuckles. I see it. I see an area that needs brown. I don't know if um, Broken Anvil wants me to keep this model or if I could, you know, sell it on eBay or what. So we'll see. This may may end up going up on eBay. Okay. I need the yellow. Let's do this on the top of her head. Oh yeah, that looks great. Nice and bright. And I can go ahead and 
make it go back down with the orange just to bring it down a little bit that looks a lot like the box art now I think that looks good okay let's do some washes I'm gonna clean up this bird head right here first because I keep getting schmutz on it and on her tusk all right so let's grab oh I dropped my brush <laughs> so I'm gonna grab some Citadel washes which I love I've got some Reichland flesh shade I've got I probably want my known oil I'm gonna find those known oil and agrax is what I'd need is that the agrax that's more flesh shade Ooh, I just found my contrast paint this is the purple contrast paint I think that will I like to shade with that too first shade got a little bit of this and I have been slowly because I got into Warhammer building up my Citadel collection my Citadel paint collection which I don't have a lot of um, but you cannot I don't you cannot go wrong by getting the shade the uh, Citadel things all right Here's Agrax Urshi. I'm going to go ahead and put this in a lot of places on her fur. Did we lose our music? We did. Hang on a second. Let me see what time it is. I don't see what time it is. Is it one? Okay. Hold on one second with the music. Okay. We still have music. We're good. All right. I'm going to put this on her. And in these little crevices, everything has got such great um, volumes that you really don't need to do a lot with it. You could dry brush a lot of this model, actually. Okay. Give it a shake every now and then because all the sediment goes to the bottom of the pot. Do this. There we go. Lovely. Just take so much of the work out of it for you. And it gives you that beautiful contrast. I'm just going to go ahead and put some on the belt as well back there. On her wrist straps, on her leg straps. I probably should use Nolan oil, but Nolan oil is so dark. Sometimes it ends up looking dirty. This way it's still in the same family as the red and it's not going to distract your eyes as much maybe. Oh, I'm too high. Let me know if you if I get off cam like that. There we go. I'm gonna put some on this axe pole thing, the axe handle, because it has some wood grain already sculpted into it. So that will actually show up a lot more. Okay, we started with that belt, so we'll go ahead and keep adding the contrast medium, or not the contrast medium, <laughs> the Agrax, the shade. There we go. Oh, 
Oh yeah, I like that really, that's really nice. I'm gonna switch over to, did I have, I didn't find my Nuln Oil, so we're just gonna stick with the Agrax. That's okay, I've got some Army Painters somewhere. And if I get some on my Ivory Talons here, Tusks, that's okay, because that is a good place to be washed. We can even put some on her face there a little bit, on her tusks and on this thing and this thing. So that way it gives it some color. Now everything got darker with that, a, bit, a lot darker. We need to get the... Did I already get the back? I think I did. So, then I'm going to grab my... This is my golden brown. I need to zap this with a hair dryer real quick. So give me one second. I'm going to mute and we're going to hair dry this so that it's bone dry. Too low. Okay, yeah, I was like off the cam. Alright, I'm going to do this with a hair dryer. So I'm going to mute, and when I get done, we're going to probably lighten, do some highlights now. All right, I'm unmuting. I'm going to show you how she turned out with the hair dryer. You can see, I think that all the shadows really got much deeper and really nice. I think I'm going to do, hmm, no, I think it's time to highlight some. I'm going to grab this golden yellow. I'm going to mix it with a little bit of that brown so that it's not quite so yellow. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the tops of all of the fur so it, and it goes in the direction that the fur is is going it's like an overbrush not not quite a dry brush because your paint is completely loaded onto the brush yay yay hello welcome I, think I got a new follower Yeah, that's looking pretty cool. I think that yellow is perfect for this. So like I said, just start at the top and brush in the same direction as the fur. With a loaded brush. And just, just hit it. Don't try to paint everything. You're just highlighting in quick, in quick way. That looks really good this way. Oh yeah, especially where the fur is real dense like this. It's looking really tribal and cool. Now I'm going to take a little just of the straight yellow and on the top of those, just on the edges of those, we're going to give a, a secondary highlight.
not too much because you don't want it to read yellow just on the edges of the fur wherever it's kind of getting pointy right this is where I'm t the part that I was talking about about how the the model being sculpted in a little bit of a cartoonish way really goes to your favor because this painting style oh ooh. okay so now I do want to dry brush I'm wiping off a bunch of the paint and I'm just gonna hit this pole this uh, axe handle because I do see it does kind of pick up the lines of the axe there All right that's that's probably good enough what do you guys think hello Mauser Schmuel hello it's good to see you we're painting um, an oryx model from the Rivenstone game that is being put out by um, Broken Anvil Game, Bro Broken Anvil Miniatures. All right, I'm going back to my my thing here. I'm looking. Let's start doing some non-metallic shading. Actually, before I do that, I'm going to take some dark blue. This is the dark blue, and I might need a little turquoisey with it because I think that would be pretty. I'm going to take here's my palette so far. Dark blue and maybe a smidge of this turquoise. This is jade because I want to make a really dark jade colored Let's see what happens. Okay, that's pretty. Yeah, let's do that for highlights on the hair. I think that will also make it look, it'll make the skin and everything pop out even more. And all I'm doing is the same thing I did when I was painting on her fur. I'm just hitting the highlights of her hair with this blue color. It's very pretty. It actually makes her hair look more black in a way because it's, it's dark. I like that a lot. All right, let's go ahead and give her some eyes. I think I will do white inside the black. Maybe we'll do, yeah, we'll do white and then we'll give her yellow. Just small, small little ovals inside our ovals. can go with the yellow. Ooh, that was too much. Luckily yellow is transparent so it won't be too crazy. I can fix that a little bit with some black. Yeah. Interesting. giving her heavy black makeup. <laughs> now let's go ahead and give her a little pupil just to see what happens. I don't know about pupils on these guys. Let's go back to let's go back to red and see what happens instead. needs to dry. Yeah, I don't know. Red, red seems to be better. I just needed to let it dry some. There, yeah, that's actually cute. I like that. That works. Okay, now, just the jade again for the final highlight on the hair. That's really pretty, isn't it? Yeah, that looks 
looks awesome. Okay, now I am ready to do the non-metallic metal on the on the uh, armor. So what, this is a tricky thing. So so again, we're gonna do rule of cool. So it may not be perfect. I'm gonna grab some mixing medium or something. I need some kind of medium to thin out my paint. What do I have? I have Water Plus, which is acrylic thinner. It's basically acrylic thinner. I'm just gonna thin this a smidge so that it flows a lot better on my brush. There we go. And first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go around all of my edges. Ooh, you know what I have? Completely forgot I had this. I just bought the new Monument Transparent White. I just don't know where I put it. Oh, it's in the box. I'm gonna go get the transparent white. I don't even need to thin that. I wanna test it out for you guys for the first time. Yes, transparent white, I love it. I'm so excited. Have you guys seen this? The transparent white? I, I don't know how it's gonna work. Hey, our staff, not back back, I, but I am back, right? Like, do you know what I mean by that? All right, here's the transparent white. It really is transparent. You can see. But that means it's going to flow really great. Oh, no, I dropped my glasses. Okay, so we can go along the edges. And I can... Oh, because it's so thin, I can layer it nice and do some... Let's see, I'm just gonna see if it lets me, oh it does, it lets me glaze like a beauty, oh my gosh, okay. Now I am Yay! sponsored by Broke, I'm sponsored by Broken Anvil for this stream, but I'm also sponsored by Monument Hobbies, so if you want this transparent paint, you can go to Monument Hobbies and use the code Shoshi sent me for your first 10% off your first order. If you've already ordered from them in the past, you can still use my affiliate link, which should be in my Twitch about. Because that is awesome. Look at that. It's nice and thin. And I think if I do several layers, It's gonna like just let me layer up. So far, so good. Let me go ahead and add some of this ivory to it. over all of my edges with my ivory. And like I said, this is not going to be perfect perfect. It's just going to be rule of cool perfect. Whichever that means. Alright, now so... Seems like it layers over the other paint really, really nice. So you really can use it to blend. Okay, I gotta grab my glasses off the floor so I can read the chat. My floor desk, as as Bachelor calls it. Hello, Abno with an L. Hello. You, I wonder if you saw my. Um, my TikTok story, if that's how you found out I was here. Speaking um, of Abnol with an L, I have a potential project to work on with you if you have the spare time. 
announcement is actually coming up really soon, so don't know how your schedule is working out right now, but we will talk. Okay, grabbing this ivory, I'm going to go ahead and woo, hit, the, hit the rivets. This is my desk. Each one of these little rivets as well. Oop. Yep, the story popped up in my feed. Awesome! Yay! That's good. I don't I that's the very first time I've ever done a TikTok story, so I did not know how it was going to work. But I think that's actually a good place for that kind of thing. Alright, that looks okay. What do you guys think? That's not bad. I can't decide. I'm kind of going back and forth between the ivory and the transparent white to see which one I like better for highlighting with. I kind of like both for different reasons. There we go. Can you see that better with the li with the lighting? Let me grab some of this gray so I can blend. Maybe mix some transparent white with it. See what happens. Make my own transparent gray. Haha. -ha. Actually, I don't mind that at all. Yep, I will. I'll definitely reach out. Alright, and then the top of this. This is the hardest part, I think, is getting these little edges with, with the brush so that they look like metal at least. Let's wear this. I think that the transparent white actually makes a big difference for smoothing out some of the rough. Um, right? Because it can look so chalky and I think having the transparent white actually does smooth it out quite a bit. What happens when I put the transparent white on these? Yes, okay. It actually makes a really nice highlight on these bone pieces too. Very, very, very nice. Get the rivets some little cracks here, little, um, what do you call it, the scratches that make everything look so realistic. Alright, now that makes a big difference. Let's put some over here. looking good. I'm very happy with how this is turning out. Okay, now I'm going to take a second. I'm going to be really concentrating on this little spot right here because 
there's small rivets here that I have to get ticky detailed with. Nice, okay. Let's do okay I'm gonna take a second to look at this from a distance it doesn't look so bad let's see I'm going to take this brown brown yellow and then go ahead and go over these little highlight these guys because they're so dark right now they they kind of get lost please ask questions if you have any it does not need to be about this model Now's your chance while you've got me on Twitch. All right. That's much better, I think. What do you think? I think it makes a big difference to have those little yellow highlights on those stitches. Snitches get stitches. Okay, I'm going to go back in here. Now, this is an important, important um, thing to do when you are painting a tabletop mini. Is to dark line, dark line, dark line. It's sort of a tr tedious little thing, but it's separating the different, um, so she's got fur up here, but then she's got leather. So these different fabrics and, and uh, layers, they need to be separated from each other with that little dark line. And it, it can look a little cartoony if you make the lines too thick, but again, she is, She's one of those that's going to look good cartoony. So right under her axe where her loincloth meets it, that needs a separation. Under her belt where her belt touches the fur and then meets the axe. See that? How that's popping out. Those little things make a big difference. Oh no! I just dropped my brush into my water cup. Wrong side out. <laughs> um, I'm gonna add a little bit of this ivory to my yellow and my orange so I can see if I'm highlighting again one more time with this yellow. Yes. bits. Yes. Oh my goodness. Yes. See when we pull our contrast forward, it gives your eye something fun to look at. And I'm going to get this red red again. I like that a lot. 
Now we're getting somewhere. So I'm going to show you how, see wait, I don't usually paint the back. Um, go ahead and highlight up the back. Notice that I'm just kind of doing that over brushing on her feet and on her wrist with things because we don't need a ton of detail on that. It's not necessary. It's not going to show up that much. So just kind of hit, hit it with like almost like a dry brushy kind of stroke. Tiny bit of orange to pop it on the heels. Oop, that may be too orange, but we can always knock it back down. Yeah, we'll knock that back down when it dries because you can always go over a lighter color with a darker color. Any tips on keeping the paint away from the ferrule other than with being my... I'm not the person to ask about that because I don't ever do that. I'm, I'm up in the ferrule. I'm mashing the brush. I'm the worst at caring for brushes. And my lizard is good. We just did... If you, earlier in the video, we got them out. So if you want to go back and watch the VOD later, you can see her. Both of them. I have two. I have peppercorn and ginger biscuit. And they both came out for a little bit against their will. <laughs> All right, so so you see how we lost a lot of our detail here. So now we can go in and dark line, dark line, dark line, pulling out our. See that? That made a big difference. Look. Dark line again. There. That looks good. Okay, so back with the black and we're dark lining more underneath the fur. I don't tend to dark line on top because that is not where shadows would be, right? Let's fix up our little goof. Now, if you, like, like I said, if you don't want it too cartoony looking, just make, just make your dark lines thinner, and just go ahead and get them as close to the edge of your. There, just like that. I'm gonna get some more black dark line under this piece right here. good and I again I gotta go back and fix where I got a little blob too heavy let's try to make that red redder again on her eye not bad yes Oh, I missed her feet. Hold on a second. Kind of try to think about where the light's going. How that might hit that metal. Get 
the transparent white sometimes that makes it easier there we go I'm finding the transparent white to be really good for these scratches And of course the rivets as well. See there? One last thing, I might do a light highlight. I think I'll use the transparent white because it seems like it's way easier to control. Man. I thought I was going to do a highlight, but I can't, I can't seem to do it. I should have done it like earlier. And let's see, let's do, I can do a little bit of highlights. So let's add a little bit of this ivory to this blue color. And we can highlight just some spots on her apron thing. Yeah. All right, she's getting really close to being done, guys. Kind of like the texture that I just did, which is kind of drawing on the on the model like that. A little thinner there. big scratches and I can come back in hopefully and fix that by making that thinner Oop. that works enough Can I do more? I can, like, what can I bring up more with my highlights? Can I bring up the red? Yes, I can. I can put, I can rinse my brush so I don't get Nick Gray in my orange. Let's take, let's take the yellow and the orange, and we're gonna just edge highlight a little bit of this thing here. I don't know if I like it. I can always bring it back with the red, though. That's, that needs to be hit with the red again. It's the only red I have. So when you go over the red with the, when you go over the yellow with this bright red, it, it pops even more, right? Because this is matte, I'm going to see, do I have some, do I have some medium that I can put, I'm going to need like some Lamia medium or something to put over the red. Alright, let's try this, because I, I don't, oh no, did you see what I just did? I just dumped my whole tub of Lamia medium out onto my palette, dang it. This will hopefully satin up my red and make that pop even more. I like a nice satin on my red. Looks good that way, yep. Well, I have plenty of medium for sure now.
There we go. All right, I think we're going to put a little bit more in her eye to make that red pop a little better. Tell me what you think. Do you feel like she's done? I feel like she's done. We can do a few more little detaily details here. Maybe a few more little pops of color on the edges of her fur. And maybe a few pops of color on her hair. on the hair a lot. Let's add a little bit more jade, jade to that to make that light jade. Boom! brings your eye back up to her face too. I like it. Yay! All right, what do you think? Might need to do a little dark dark lining on her axe I completely forgot about. So you can always keep refining. that does. When you put that next to that highlight, it really pops everything. I think it's time to call it. Yeah, it looks good. I'm going to post some pictures of this up on my socials so you guys can take a peek. And yeah, make sure you check out the Broken Anvil Kickstarter. Here we go. With all of the cool new factions and I didn't get that done, but we don't, we don't always paint that whole back. <laughs> yeah, fun model. Um, real quick, I'm going to give you another quick promo for myself. Here's Angel, um, the Angel that I just recently released on my website. There's like 13 copies left. So if you are interested in getting one, the that'll be it because it's a limited run of 200. So you can you can go to the website and grab one of him before they're all out otherwise you'll have to wait until I re-release them all as a collection and yeah let me go ahead and do some outros let's see all right guys Please back my Patreon. Five dollars a month, you can watch me stream once a month on YouTube, and also help me make these models. So, all right, have a good one, and thank you so much. That's where I just posted all my links there. Bye, guys. Go with